Thank you for visiting UT Bridal. This is a tutorial on how to make a beaded floral spray. The completed project for part one will look like this, and we will be using it as part of a bridal hair comb. So here are the ordinaries you will need in order to complete this project. If you need more time, feel free to press pause and review the list. First, you're going to print out the pattern from the description box below. You will notice that I have cut the paper into individual stem pattern sheets. However, this is for teaching purposes only. I have labeled the C to represent the crystal beads and the P to represent the pearl beads. And I also labeled it with numbers so that it would help with bead order and bead count. Next, you're going to cut five wires each at 15 inches long. Take the first wire and then align it onto the pattern and this way I will get the length needed and then just bend it at that end point. And now I'm going to slip the first bead, which is the crystal bead, onto the long end of the wire. Allow the bead to slide to where the wire bends. Then take the long end of the wire and bend it down and then I'm just going to pinch it to secure the bead in place. And then I would twist it about six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now take the next bead, which is the pearl bead, and just slide it onto the long end of the wire. Let it slide down to about a half an inch away from the end of the wire. I use half of my upper thumb as a reference, so then when it reaches the tip of my finger, I just pinch it, and then this time just twirl it until it hits um, the end of the wire. And now I'm going to just twist the intersecting wires together about six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Add on the next bead, which is the crystal bead, and you're just going to do the same thing. Slide it on until it hits um, the tip of my thumb. Again, I'm just using uh, my thumb as a reference, so the upper half of my thumb here. Pinch the wire to secure the bead, and then just twist it until you reach the end. And now twist the intersecting wires together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now add your next bead and continue the process until you get to the last bead. To finish off after you place on the last bead, you will twist the intersecting wires until you get to the very end. While placing on the beads, you will notice that I am not concerned about which side the bead is laying on, but I am more focused on which bead goes next and just the number of beads. Now that I am complete with the floral stem, I can now focus on which side the bead lays on the stem. be the center of the headband and we'll only have one. So now we are going to lay out the pattern of the stems onto the hair comb. I have laid down stem one and now I'm going to take stem two and lay it down about half an inch down and I'm just going to twist it together. And now I'm going to take stem three and lay it down about half an inch and then start twisting them all together. I'm going to lay down stem 5 and stem 4 in a mirror image and twist it together to create a separate beaded floral spray. Now you're going to take the first beaded floral spray and center the middle stem onto the center of the hair comb. Now clip the wire to the length of the hair comb. Now cut another wire about 30 inches long, lay it on top of the hair comb, and then start twisting it around the end of the hair comb and over the beaded floral spray about two to three times. 
and then start twisting it between each teeth of the comb about three times. Repeat until you get to the very end of the comb and then you're just going to clip off the extra wire. Leave about an inch long wire and what you're going to do is you're going to tuck that wire into and then under the wrapped wires and you are complete with the first beaded floral spray. Now we're going to repeat this process for the second floral spray. So we're going to cut off the extra wire and then cut another wire at 30 inches long, lay it across the hair comb, and then start twisting it around the other end of the hair comb. Again, you're going to twist it around about three times and then continue by going in between each teeth of the hair comb about three times until you get to the very end of the hair comb. Cut off the extra wire and then tuck it into the wrapped wire. At this point you can straighten out the beads and you are complete. For part two you will learn how to make the beaded daisy spray and this will complete the beaded floral hair comb. Thank you for visiting Utique Bridal. I hope you get inspired to create something extraordinary out of the ordinary.